Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your top tip. And today I want to show you how you can help keep larger documents organized with a different kind of view of the document to what you're used to. So the view on your screen is the standard or the, the typical view that we use in Word, and that's called our print layout. The image on the screen looks exactly like it does when we print it. However, sometimes there are some other ways that we can look at a document to help us get um, a bit of clarity in those long documents to help us organize and restructure our content and to be able to work to your brain and the way that you need to work as opposed to what Word tells you is the standard. So there are a couple of options that I wanted to show you. The first one is our outline view and we do that by heading to our view tab. And at the top here, you'll see the standard option or the default option is print layout. But we have several different ones here. And the one that I'm re gonna recommend having a look at is outline. So your content shows up as bullet points, which is great for being able to move things around. So you can see here that this is the section and these little, um, we can move and work with these. I can take things, this is where my page break is. So rather than seeing it in that print mode, I can look at it this way and see if perhaps this makes more sense for me. The other one, uh, once we're here, you can um, close the outline view and go back to your main document or standard. I'm saying that in inverted commas, the, the default option. The other view that I recommend having a look at is from your home tab and the editing section. If you click on the find, you'll have this option here, and this will give you the option to be able to see your content broken down by the headings. Now you will need to be using styles for this one to work, but it's another way that you can actually see the content of your document before it's finished. And if you don't have a table of contents, this is like a mini one for you to work to. So have a look at playing around with the different layouts and views of your documents. Just because Word gives you a default option doesn't mean that it's necessarily helpful for you in terms of the way that you're processing and working in the document, but also how you're able to manage the content when it is bigger than a page or two pages. Some of these other options might be better for you. Give it a go. Let me know how you go.